All right, for this example, we just want to know if the numbers to the right, so if 0 and negative 1, right here, are solutions to this equation. So we're going to just plug in one number at a time and see if, it, if the left side equals the right side. So let's plug in the 0 first. So I'm going to plug in a 0 for every x in the equation. 0 plus 6 over 2 times 0 minus 3 does that equal 0 minus 2? So when we simplify this, 0 plus 6 is 6 over. Now 2 times 0 is 0, and then 0 minus 3 is a negative 3. Equals 0 minus 2 over on the right is negative 2. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2, equals negative 2. So you can see that it worked out. So 0 is a solution. We plugged it in, and the left side equals the right side. So is 0 a solution? Yes. It is. We're going to do the same thing with the negative 1. I'll go ahead and write it over here. So let's plug in negative 1 and see if we get the left side to equal the right side. So negative 1 plus 6. Jeez. There we go. Over 2 times negative 1 minus 3. Does that equal a negative 1 minus 2? All right. Now let's simplify this. Well, the numerator negative 1 plus 6 is a 5 over. Right here, 2 times negative 1 is a negative 2 and negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. 5 divided by negative 5 is negative 1. Is that equal to a negative 3? No, it's not. So negative 1 was not a solution. So is a number a solution? Just plug it into the equation, see if the left side equals the right side.